<laughs> Episode 61. Review coming for you live today, right now. Okay? I did it back to back watching the episodes and then making the reviews. So this is technically the last one. And like I said, I'm going to try to get these out during the week. Um, not like truly back to back, but at least, you know, they'll all be done before Friday. That's my goal for, <laughs> for these videos, okay? Anyways, um, okay, this, I was on a high, right? If you guys saw the previous episode, which I literally just watched and I just reviewed it for you guys. Now I had like a huge high, right? This one, it kind of mellowed me out a little bit, okay? Um, as you all know, I'm a big Roy fan. This episode is kind of what I was expecting to happen, but not to such an egregious state that I expect it to happen. Um, now, if you guys have been watching the reviews for a long time, if I've been mentioning for a long time that Roy episodes tend to be my favorites throughout you know the course of the history of you know Horizons, um, and I've always been saying. I don't like the fact that I, I like these episodes so much and so far each one has been a banger that when we get an episode that isn't as good I'm gonna be highly disappointed and this one kind of felt like it because I, I, I understand what they're trying to to hit Roy with because it's something that I've been talking about at nauseum at this point the fact that Roy is more of a go 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 type battle like he's just head first charge in you know that's his battle style it's been since the beginning and i've always said that his is definitely like i don't want to say the weakest out of the three in terms of how he battles um but it's definitely the the easiest to counter if if you get what i mean right and the problem with this type of play style um and I, i'm saying a play style as you know somebody who plays you know competitively um is that when you're very hyper offensive if you like hit a brick wall, then it's really hard for you to recover. And that's kind of like how I was feeling Roy. Roy was eventually going to hit this wall, right? So I don't mind the episode in that aspect. I just felt like they really... I don't think that Ryan needed to say what she did, okay? I have never seen... Especially after the last episode, right? This, this, this felt like a gut punch, okay? I don't have... Any reason in my mind to think that Roy is a bad partner for Fue Hogo. Never, and I, I still don't think that's true. I felt like it was a, a low blow from Ryan, okay? I, I get that his balance style is not intuitive enough to deal with every possible scenario in, in a battle, okay? I get that. But to, to, to go as far as saying he's not a good partner to Fue Hogo just because he got flustered and lost makes no sense. Because Dot and Liko have had issues before, right? And it's it's not that they're bad trainers. They're just new. They're rookies. I, I don't understand why they have these high expectations for these fucking children. Like, Dot lost both of hers, okay? She lost both her exams. And yet, you know, she passed. Liko lost hers against uh, Katie. And, and she passed. And everything was fine. And, you know, like, she also lost against uh, Rika. And everybody's like, oh... It just happens, you know? So, I just... Listen, I don't really care too much about most of these gym leaders, okay? The, the anime is really helping them be fleshed out more. Rhyme is one of the ones... Like, Rhyme is one of the ones where, even in the game, she's kind of like a bitch. Um, like, in, in the way she, she, like, interacts with you as a player. She's very high and mighty because she's, like, this, like, famous rapper or whatever the fuck. But, realistically speaking, that's the vibe she has. Like, she's just... She's just she, she's very sure of herself and it actually helps her a lot because she's like I think canonically like the second to the last gym leader so it like if you look at the actual path that they expect you to go she's like te definitely like the, the second to the last gym leader because Rush is always last right he's supposed to be like the, the final gym leader right so I get that Rhyme has this mystique around her like oh she's strong and powerful and all that fucking shit but like I don't think this is the way you, you teach your students that, that's just my point of view. Okay, I think that it was a low blow. I think it was a low blow to, to hit him with that. Okay, like, you could have just said, like, your battling style is not helping your partner. But to flat out say he's a bad partner for Fuego, I don't, I don't think it was completely uncalled for. The battle itself was fine. And I actually don't... I think the, they, they set him up for failure. Okay? They really did. Because he has two battles in the one episode. Because he battles the fucking like, gym trainer dude um, with his fucking Sableye shit. Right? And then, like, then he faces off against Ryan. And, honestly, I, I, I don't know why I expected anything more 
from Kilowatt, well, that thing is useless. I, I've been saying this forever. Like, I still don't think that this man should evolve. But it is what it is at this point. It don't fucking matter. But Foycoco comes in. He just had a battle against the Sableye. And they're really, like, trying to, like, hamper down Foycoco and Roy's spirits. We're saying, what the fuck you seen? I'm going to say this as the final hit on the nail to why this episode fell off to me. Is when, when Ryan asked Roy about why he wants to slice. He says it's to achieve his dream of being able to go after the Black Mufasa, which we, in, we this his whole goal, right? He even said that to Clavel, right? That's fine. But when they ask him why he sings with Faikoko, he's like, oh, because it helps us get stronger and win. And that's a total tone shift to the whole concept of the singing between the two. Faikoko and Roy singing has never been about them gaining a power boost and like all of a sudden they're going to win everything. No, the, the way that Fuecoco and, and Roy singing has always been shown up to this point in the series has been them like connecting their hearts together to like give each other a confidence boost. When Fuecoco is down, Roy sings to him so that Fuecoco gets that energy boost and saying, hey, my trainer is rooting for me. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's an auto win for Roy. It just means that Fuecoco gets his like sudden burst of energy when you start doing it at the beginning of the battle as like Oh, I'm just gonna do this to like one hit kill my opponent. It kind of like Destroys the credibility of you connecting with Fuecoco and this being like a, your 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 hearts connecting together Right, I don't know if anybody else and, and convert, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments But that's the way I've always seen their singing it has never been about Like oh, it makes us immediately stronger to win that has never been the point of them singing, and I hate the fact that they even threw that line in there. Like I said, we were going to get, it was eventually going to happen. We were going to get a Roy episode that I was going to be very upset with, I wasn't going to like it, and this is it. This is, it happened. I'm, I'm just disappointed. I'm disappointed in everything that happened in this episode, and the way they like completely botched Roy's character, and Ryan just completely just... Bro, it was it was a gross mismanagement of, this, of of his character because it completely flips him from everything he stands for. Like he's Roy has never seen Foycoco as just a power button, right? He's never seen Foycoco as like, oh, I'm just gonna win everything because he's lost more than he's won. Like he only has one real victory under his belt, and it was against Braces, and he pushed Braces to that victory, right? I'm a little disappointed at this song, I'm gonna say. Like, even, even Nimona was, like, talking about it, and, like, it just feels a little off that he's, like, pushing this whole fucking singing shit at the beginning. I don't know, it's just, it just felt off, it just felt weird. Like, Roy's now failed his test, which, honestly, I'm surprised this is the first time it's happened. All these kids should have fucking lost me before, but, you know, whatever. And, like, I guess they're gonna do a rematch next episode, or, I don't, I don't know how that's gonna fucking work. But from the looks of it, we might not get an evolution, and honestly, I hope we don't. I do not think that Fuecoco should evolve in the next episode because it's gonna ruin the concept that the, I'm, I'm assuming they're trying to, to build up with these two. I, I don't understand, I don't know. Maybe maybe they will, just to like throw salt in the wound, because I don't really think you can do another Kilowattro Fuecoco battle because it defeats the purpose. I, I like Kilowattro, like it, it just fucking sucks. So I don't know how they're gonna handle this rematch, or if we're just gonna do like a skip, like this is a training, then we do Likos and then we come back, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just gonna leave it off there because I was on such a high and then this episode happened. And like I said, it's not as bad as I thought. Like, like I expected, like I'm always up here with Roy. Like I expected it to go like way down here when we got that one bad Roy episode. But it's like, like around here, like it's still bad, but it's not as egregious as I thought it was gonna be. Um, I still don't like it, right? It's it's not good to make me dislike a Roy episode. I'm just gonna say that. Like, I, I expected it to maintain like a certain balance. I knew it was gonna eventually happen and it just so happens to be this episode. So I guess I end uh, my three episode uh, marathon on a downward slope, but I'm hoping that this week's episode makes up for it. And if it doesn't, fuck me, I guess. I, I guess Liko will just have to save us from this atrocity. <laughs> I hope her battle with Rush is way better than this. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it off there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been your boy, Sarah's Croxon, and I will see you guys in future videos, streams, shorts, and everything in between.